Okay, I already, uh, whenever you use a burner like that, or I use it, I uh, like to go over and scrub this. Uh, I use a um, regular dishwasher, the dish liquid there, and scrub all off to make sure I get all the black, any excess burn ashes and stuff like that. And then I use this true ochre here as a base for my skin tone and then I add a little bit of um, this light red oxide or any yellow and red will make a skin tone but I, what I do is mostly mostly yellow and just a dropper so of the red and <clears throat> there is some water there and it'll make a I like like a suntan type of uh, skin tone see how it turns into that uh, skin tone there and um, and I, I usually use it go like this if I if I paint across printed material and I can just barely see the uh, the um, the print under there so <clears throat> I'd like it to be a little more needs a little more water in there and uh, I just keep adding water till it gets to be Hey, that still needs this first the uh, this first coating I usually put on is uh, is uh, the lightest of the light anyway. So that's it. It's a lot of water in there, and uh, got to make it until you can. See how you can see right through that. You can see his pants there. That's about where I want to start from. And uh, the the, paint, the carving is still wet from I uh, damp. I mean it's damp because I scrubbed it down in, in hot water and I uh, I didn't. I just dried it, damped it with uh, paper towels. And anyway, I'm going to just coat the whole darn carving with this. It's like, uh, I like to think of it as a primer. You know, like if, if I was painting, my, I used to paint, do some painting on vehicles. And once you put that primer on there, you could see any other uh, places that needed more attention, like with the sander or... This gives me a, like a solid color. The basswood is so hard to see. It's very hard to see. It's so this doesn't have any color or grain, so it makes it uh, a bit hard to see. Once I put a coat of this on, you'll see the difference. What I'm talking about here and some of this is actually going to be like the hands are going to be this color skin tone and the face around the face is going to stay that color of course I'm going to paint the hair and the eyes and the eyebrows uh, but this is going to be the I use this for a base color on most all of my carvings I'll just use this old acid brush to do it the first coating here. It's already spilt. I already got paint <laughs> where it don't belong already. So. I'm 
gonna have to cross that center line. I mean, carve that center line off up there uh, on top of this hat. But this is not going to be the hat color, so it's going to be a different color. This is only skin tone, but it does give me, if you can see what I'm saying, it's rather than be bland white like down here, you could, it, it, it kind of gives you, same as like when you squirt water on it, it um, you know, brings it out. Well, when I do this, it, it's kind of like my base coat primer coat or whatever <laughs> helps me to be able to see everything a little better for painting yeah so once I get this in there on there and always keep water so it's you know you don't want it really it, if it looks a little too uh, Too much you can go back and just kind of use the water and spread it out a little bit you know because some spots get a little heavier than others and this makes it even just kind of wash it around some of it wash some of it off and uh, and always keep a mess of uh, paper towels around So, okay, the camera, uh, my card was full there, so I don't know where that stopped at, but uh, anyway, this is uh, the base coat, and then I gotta figure out the colors for, let's say, uh, <clears throat> like, like his hat. I need to uh, just kind of cut that top off like that and uh, to be ready to paint here just let me uh, let me uh, Get my paints together for the colors. I'll probably paint these blue jeans. I got a blue jean color and I got a burnt sienna for the boots and uh, maybe a little darker uh, a burnt umber or something for that strap and uh, I'll get them together here right now. See this denim blue jean it's so, uh, actually it's so thin already that I, uh, sometimes I can use it right out of the bottle. Right. I'll just get some water out of here. And it's still a little, t a little dark. Gotta go for the thin wash. Wanna paint it? Yeah, something like that. That's fine. Sometimes that burning uh, will help to keep this um, paint from bleeding. Like the, I uh, don't want the blue jean bleeding in, into the, into the, uh, the boots. We don't want blue boots. So, I'm kind of going around it here. And I still always keep a palette here, that way it's, uh, 
keeps you from loading up your brush too much. If you dump it, dump it in there, it's uh, you can load it up too much, and this way you have more control. And just dip some out of there and put it on the power. Then uh, anyway, that's the way I do it. Some of these it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter if I get blue on that belt because I'm going to paint over that darker, a darker color anyway. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to come back. I want to get these uh, belt loops painted and uh, get some first coat. This is like a first coat on these jeans. And like I say, this is such a light color that it's going to be not going to matter if I smudge it because I'm coming back. I mean, I don't want to get it on the hands there or nothing, but uh, but if I get it on the boots or the belt, I'm, I'm painting it a darker color already anyway. So, I guess that's good for the first coat. We'll let that sink in and we'll see, uh, see if we want to uh, add any more color. But you can see, you can see it, but I can also still see through the, still see the wood through it. So, looking at it right now, you can see it very, very nicely and um, I think his boots and hat I'm gonna make a um, <clears throat> burnt sienna and it's kind of like a it's a brown but it's a reddish tint to it and I'm just going to squirt some right there. And I'm going to kind of like just dip it in the water and keep pulling it away until it looks like it's you got a, a, some kind of wash there that you can see through. That's fine. And uh, <clears throat> Well, I'll paint this hat. I try to hold the carving so, like, if you're holding it like this and painting, it's going to drip down. If it drips, it drips on the face. So you want to hold it away so if it drips, it's not going to drip any on anything uh, and mess mess you up later when you're trying to get it to look good. Now I know I want this hat to be a little darker, so I'm not worrying about getting the super washy look as I am uh, getting it a nice, the nice color that I like. But, you know, Marciana is one of the favorite colors for uh, <laughs> painting a lot of stuff, really. Most, but all these cowboys. You need burnt sienna, you need uh, raw sienna, which is a lighter tan looking, which is a pretty color. You know how that hat, the hat is, uh, got that reddish tint to it. And, uh, Boots.
I'm going to come back and uh, paint those soles black or darker or maybe some burnt umber or something like that but I'm just going to give them a coat of this uh, burnt, burnt sienna first Let's get some snow here later on. Weather's supposed to get nasty, so. Been, it's been on and off nasty anyway, so. A good color for those boots too. Get on the inside here. I'm gonna paint these uh, spurs a uh, some kind of metallic color over top. I'm gonna just go ahead and give them a coat of this to start off with. Paint paint these old boots, all of it, and I uh, get a coat of. Uh, Burnt sienna all around the whole thing. Let me see here. So there's the first coat on the boots and the hat and the jeans. So here's a uh, he got a vest here that's going to be a different color than his shirt in the in the middle there. So I'll tell you, I'm going to paint that shirt first, and because uh, these sleeves out here are the shirt also. So the vest is only right down in here. So on each side and around the back. So I'm going to do that in a uh, raw sienna. And I think I'll do that shirt in, um, in a butternut. So let me, uh, let me get that ready. But starting to get a little cover here. Sorry about that, I thought, thought I shut you off. But anyway, I, there's a one spot missed back here in the back. This shirt in between the uh, jeans and the vest. <clears throat> so. I'm going to make that vest a, um, raw sienna, it's a, that's another nice uh, brown color. Mm -hmm. So, let me, um, let me rig that up, let me get that ready. But you can see it's starting to, uh, look painted. I went ahead and put another uh, coat on that uh, on those blue jeans because that kind of soaked right in there pretty good, and uh, we might get another coat uh, later. Later, I'm gonna see how it's still kind of damp, and I uh, I uh, might put another coat on it later. I got some uh, my raw sienna right here, and I'm going to. Uh, Paint his vest in here. Oh, 
little sienna. I need some more water. You can paint a little darker in spots where you you know you're trying to make a, a nice visible color change. And I know this, uh, so this isn't quite as uh, much a wash as uh, as I was saying before. But Okay, this vest is going to be all sienna, and get in here. Always put my finger on the carving so I can steady it to get a good, uh, Good line. Have control over the brush when you're trying to make a uh, like a line along the front of this vest. Keep your paint to viscous so you can so it flows. That's a nice color for the vest, and trying to get there on that inside there <laughs> a little bit. So there you go. That's uh. the spot over there. I guess that's kind of like a light tan leather looking color. Some of that, um, some of those burning marks are going to stay if, um, some of them I want to, I might go back and kind of clean them up a little bit because Sometimes I get overburned, see that, where it's going. But that looks like a little wrinkle in the shirt, so I'm not so concerned about that. Just once you paint it white, or uh, that uh, buttercream, it's, uh, it's less visible. Yeah, same here with the back. Up down here. And uh, you can see how this uh, skin tone has uh, kind of soaked in also gonna give them a little bit more skin tone on these areas that are gonna remain skin tone the hands and the face
Doesn't matter uh, if it's this bit hair or yeah, that shirt's going to remain white, so we don't want to paint skin tone on that. But you can just go over this whole facial area here with another coat, which is. I play with the skin tone till the end. You know, I mean, it's not. It's not so like you just paint it once and you're done. You know, that's. <laughs> can't do it like that. I mean, the eye can't do it like that. So I'm gonna. I ain't no pro painter either. I would just. Uh, Not too many people actually. There are painting lessons available. Painting, painting classes. So some people like oil. This is all acrylic, water based acrylic paints that I'm using here. See how the ear faded in there? To <laughs> Some areas suck up the paint more than, than others. So, so once I paint the hair, starting to get that painted look. Them jeans are looking okay. Them, I mean, you want them, I want them to be faded jeans, not the uh, not like brand new or nothing. And uh, you got a color difference between the shirt and the vest and the pants. And I'm going to come back and paint that belt and buckles and straps and all still. So I think I'm going to paint the hair uh, black and then uh, dry brush it with a white for to make it kind of grayish. So let's uh, so that's where we are. Let me uh, get myself together here and I'll uh, we'll finish painting this thing up. Okay, I'm going to paint the I've had this around forever as acrylic paint, but it's in a tube. It's Mars black. I'm going to paint the hair back. I usually make a mess of this. I can make a mess of this black. I'm going to actually I'm going to stick. To, this is. If you follow my videos, you might remember the uh, the paint stick video I made how to make these paint sticks with the screw in it, and uh, helps to hold the carving. This one I carved on a little bit, so but it helps it to hold the carving without uh, touching the paint. Uh, stabilize that it stabilize the carving on the uh, on my so on that paint cup holder try to try to keep from getting this black all over everything where the way I usually do. So, needs a little uh, black eyebrow there, and sideburned.
I recommend you take the painting lessons from someone else besides me. I'm not real crazy about the black color, but I uh, use it for a base. I'll paint it black and then I'll uh, dry brush over it white. And uh, I'll show you how I do that later. That's in the end after it's all, after everything's painted, I'll do a little dry brushing. And then this black will look more gray. Or salt and pepper, I call it. It'll be black in there, but it'll be... Gray also. Just want to get a base coat of that on there. Try not to smear it over on the face too much. Oh. Okay, I'm going to blow that dry real quick and I'll, uh, it don't really look bad black, it's just, uh, I like to uh, dry brush over it and uh, you'll see the difference and you don't have to use the dry brush if you don't want to. Just um, use your own Make your own decision on that. Okay, well, I went and uh, painted these uh, the soles of the boots and the heels black also. Uh, so the hair is black and the, the soles of the heels. And I'm going to use some of this. This is the pretty dark color here. It's burnt umber. I mean raw umber and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for his spur straps Uh, like a <laughs> dirt color, really. But uh, I just wanted to be a darker color than um, the boots, and a different color than the sole. That's my main thing here. I'm trying to get some little separation. Colors, different color separations. <laughs> I 
See, these paint sticks come in handy for uh, if you go back a few videos I made uh, I made a video while I was making these paint sticks so if you want to make a couple of them they're not real hard to make and basic tools I'm gonna have to make those spurs uh, some kind of gray or something. This should be like a metal, a metallic look, metal looking. I have some metallic looking stuff, but it's it's more like a gold. And you turn them upside down and you can see the stuff underneath the paint also. Put the paint underneath that strap. Like that. So it makes it a little darker. So, so he's got his uh, leather straps holding on his spurs and me, I'm going to dry that pretty quick here. Then we can come back and uh, we'll probably hit that hat with another coat. Give it a little bit more color than it has right there. Looks okay, but I think I'll hit it again. Well, I, I, I think I'm going to just go ahead and use this glittery. This is gold, but it's, uh, I'm, just, I'm going to make his spurs gold. That's, that's what glitters. I'll just use it straight out of the cap. I was mixing together some black and white and it just didn't look, uh, you know, try to make a sober look, but uh, it just didn't look good enough. I didn't like the looks of it, so I'm going to just go ahead and use this gold. It is a metallic color. It's got metal flakes in it. Be a half Luton cowboy with gold spurs. Luton tootin' half a Luton. Okay, let me see here. Let me get this side here.
I'm a sloppy painter, so I mean, I kind of painted on there and uh, keep going back to check and fix spots where it looks uh, terrible. <laughs> So you ain't done painting until you put that clear finish on it. That's the way I look at it. So throw a, and then you can still go back sometimes. But that gives it a different color there, and it uh, looks it looks metallic, and uh, it's got those raw lumber straps on there. And I think I'm going to just make this look like dirt with raw lumber also. This is such a big area, I'm going to just go ahead and use this acid brush. See that stuff? <laughs> You want something to look like dirt? <laughs> Raw lumber is the color. Mirrored all over those uh, gold spurs. go in between here with this with that big old brush so I wind up painting the shoes and all get some underneath the uh, some of these spots where you close to another car I use a, I usually keep a bunch of different size brushes around here for So, there you go, he's standing in the dirt, he's a cowboy, he's in the corral. He's heading to the corral to get his horse so he can uh, shoot a rabbit. Needs a rabbit for the dinner. That, um, so uh, let me let me dry this up a little bit here and uh, take another close look at it. I think I do want to hit that hat again, but uh, let me dry that um, raw lumber on the bottom. Well, oh, these gold spurs are standing out there and. Uh, that's what I like. I got a, like the burnt umber. I got black soles. I got uh, burnt sienna here, and I got raw umber here. So, and the gold. So you, you got different colors there that make a that make the color. You know, so it's what I like to make the colors uh, 
make the carving look uh, a little bit better. Now that skin tone, actually that hat, I think I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot here. Paint sticks good because you can kind of, you know, you control the carving while you're painting it. You can kind of move it, not just move the brush, move the carving. Kind of twist it around. Yeah, that's a little more. That's a little more color. It's gonna. It's gonna fade in also. So, a little bit. And I'm pretty much gonna. Be hitting that with uh, my dry brush technique. It kind of gives it a worn look. Just, I'll dry brush it with some of that butternut or. Oyster off white color, not the not the real bright blanco. So that's gonna be good. I'll hit it here with some clear clear water. Spread that color out a little bit. Him on the top. Now I'm gonna leave him without a uh, hat band. Kind of, I kind of like that look. But you can add a hat band it's just like make a little quarter inch or less. Draw it on there with a pencil, and then. Uh, Make a stop cut around it, carve to it, and paint it a different color. So you have another color separation there. Sometimes I use a headband, sometimes I don't. And, uh, yeah, that looks a lot better than me. And that skin tone, that skin tone is still too, uh, Too light, too light for me, so I'm gonna take this little brush here, stir it up a little bit. And give these pins, give these uh, skin tone a little bit more. Another coat. I'm going to tint that uh, this all the skin with a little red red tint before I'm done here. Anyway. I don't one of those end things I do, I like to do. Okay, I painted those eyes off camera there and I I also hit it hit those boots with another uh, coat of uh burnt sienna. I'm gonna let me spray this a little bit. The skin tone I am I'm not 
100% happy with that. So what I'm going to do is uh, and add a little bit of uh, this. Remember that red uh, that I used for that for the uh, make the skin tone at first. And I just want to, I just want a little blush on it. I want his nose to look uh, a little reddish. Because, you know, cowboys are out in the sun, so they got to have like a little bit of a tan look. Uh, not, uh, not fleshy looking. And his cheeks are going to be, as a matter of fact, his whole face is, I'm going to go over this whole face with, uh, very light, very light plus. Light as I can get it. Put a little on the ears too. See what I mean? Got that. In more of a cowboy type look. I painted the white of the eyes. I'm going to come back and, and I'm going to uh, put the black dot in there for his pupil. And uh, I'm not real good at painting in those eyes. Some people can paint them in, and if you can paint them in, more power to you. I, uh, I, um, just learning on this painting. I tell you, I'm not that good at it. But, see, I like that skin tone a little better. Now that it's got that little reddish tint to it. And, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> this, I use this little fan brush here and some of this, um, this oyster color, the oyster white, and, uh, let me get this wet stuff out of here. And I'll just take that, dip it in like that to the, to the tips of it. Put some on there. And then, uh, then I will. See, anything you want is the tip. Tip of the brush to have, uh, have any of that white on there. And, um, Kind of, this is the dry brush technique I was telling you about. Makes that beard, like makes his mustache stand out, and it's a little gray, and the, and it's kind of white on the end, uh, tips. And same with your uh, sideburns here. And your eyebrows. So, so you don't have to do this. You can leave it white if you want. I mean, you can leave it black, black if you want. And actually, you know, you kind of go over the whole darn, uh, not just the beard there. You can go up here and uh, Slop it on there, just cap it on the edges, the tips, and uh, and lightly brush it. Don't it ain't like you're painting a house here or nothing like that. So, same with the pants, it gives them a kind of a worn look.
Um, so it's, all you're trying to do is just get paint on the very tip of the brush and and catch your high points on your your knife cuts and gouge cuts. So you can see these boots they're the, they've been around a while man they're they hardly got any paint on there at all. I mean it's like gives that leather a little crackled look yeah. And uh, be careful when you dip it back in there because you know you're going to, there's the possibility of it getting uh, way too much on there. And then it's you're painting it white, you know, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you just want to hit the tips. So I'm just kind of dipping the tip in there and then you take and wipe it all off. It's good if you can have a, like a black, something black to brush it off on. That way you can see that you, how much you got on there. I don't know if you can see it on here or not, but on this uh, video or not, but Hard to paint stuff and see yeah, it got too much on there. Sometimes you gotta just go back and wipe your brush off because you got it up on the side of the brush. This vest in there. You don't want to do it on the face or anything, but just you don't want the crackly looking face. <laughs> but you want it on all his clothing. I got a little bit too much on on right there, so that's how easy it is to happen. And uh, even down here, this um, this vase, It's kind of brush lightly as possible. Spin that brush around. And up here on the top also. You can make you see that hat a little bit more and go around the edge there. Kind of brush away, brush away. And it'll pick up that edge for the uh, Make that hat a little more recognizable. I'm not sure if you can see it on there or not, but you'll see it on yours for sure when you, uh, if you use this for yours. 
So now I just got to make a little, uh, finish that eye up and, uh, Looking pretty decent. When I get done, I'm going to spray it with a matte spray and uh, be a hundred percent difference. Okay, well, I went ahead and painted the belt uh, a brown color and. Uh, Put these eyes in here because it's hard to do that in the camera without smearing the paint. I got to get it really up close to me so I can do those. But they, I painted them off screen there and I did the, the dry brush around. And I knew I, uh, I didn't carve anything, but I, I painted these buttons there on the shirt because I forgot to carve them. And I'm going to paint his buckle gold. Since I got that gold there, this gold metallic. This needs one coat, that's all. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a little while and um, I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer some and uh, I think get it as dry as I can <coughs> dry enough to <coughs> spray the uh, finished clear coat on it and that clear and uh, that'll take me about an hour or so and then I'll I'll, <clears throat> I'll record the matte spray <laughs> okay I'll be back all right I uh, I went over whole carving and where I splotched some of this brown over here I added a little bit more white and just go over the whole thing and uh, kind of see if there's any spots that really bother you you can go ahead and uh, touch them up you know, he's got his gold buckle and his painted on buttons <laughs> so I think I'm gonna hit it with a, some of this clear it's um up matte clear bust all in. Yeah. What I got. Gotta do some quick wispy. This isn't like the uh the other matte clear they make, they make a matte clear for, for more like craft. And it's got xylene in it, and it's much better, uh, it's a nice finish. Yeah. So, let me, uh, Some underneath here. Okay, well that's a light coat on the whole thing, so uh, I'll have to let that dry for for a good while here.
and see if it needs another coating. And, uh, that's the this would be okay. It's a little bit shinier than I like. It's supposed to be a matte color, though. Sometimes they dry, they'll dry a matte, more of a matte color, though. But it brings out the, your colors of your vest and your belt and, you know, all those different color changes are uh, <coughs> more visible now. And, and, you know, the belt loop, I mean, we, I mean, we cut the belt loop and made the belt go under and you can actually, you can see that a lot better now with the belt going through the loops and around his pants. And uh, the dry brush helps that also, helps that to be more visible. But it's windy. And this gun, I think it needs a little bit, probably should make another gun. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's the idea there to, uh, I messed it up, I, I whittled it down a little bit uh, much there on the end there. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. You got the pattern.